Video problem 91, acid-base titration. Determine the molarity of an unknown monoprotic strong acid if 15 milliliters is required to reach equivalence with 23 milliliters of 0.45 molar sodium hydroxide. So what does that mean? What does equivalence mean? Equivalence means that all of the hydrogen ions cancel out with all the hydroxide ions, right? So they completely cancel out. So for our strong acid and base, what does that mean? Well, this is monoprotic, which means that it breaks up to give off one hydrogen ion. Sodium hydroxide breaks up to give off one hydroxide. So in that case, that means that these two are equal. All right. Now, what we can use, because it's equivalence, anytime we have equivalence, we can always use this equation, the molarity of the acid, times the volume of the acid times the number of hydrogen ions is equal to the molarity of the base times the volume of the base times the number of hydroxides. Now, it's monoprotic, so the number of hydrogen ions is one. It's sodium hydroxide, so the number of hydroxides is one. What's the molarity of the base? 0.45. What's the volume of the base? 23 milliliters. What's the volume of the acid? 15 milliliters, we don't know the molarity of the acid. So here you can see we can easily solve this. So I get 0 0.69 molar. Now if you want to see this a different way, if you don't want to use this equation, what we're really doing here is we're doing this. Or I should say, hold on a sec. In a a, so what we're doing here is we're saying all of this sodium hydroxide reacts with all of this HA. Now it's a balanced equation. So when I take that 23 times 0.45, which is the molarity of the base times the volume of the base, I get a value of 10.35 millimoles. Okay, so that's how much sodium hydroxide I'm starting out with. Now I use 10.35 millimoles because I use all of it. So I end up with, for both of these, since it's at equivalence, I end up with no sodium hydroxide, no HA. Well, that means that this starting amount has to be 10.35 millimoles. So if that's true, I can calculate the molarity because I've got 10.35 millimoles right? and I've got 15 milliliters of that. So what's 10.35 uh, divided by 15? It is 0.69. So either way you want to do these types of problems, this is much easier. Have at it.